heard that there was this very fine family going to be moving to our community. They had two men that were not married, and so the Friesens were getting pretty excited about this. And <laughs> they moved in, and we got to know them. Wayne happened to be one of them, and I thought that Wayne and Marley would make a really great couple. I thought they would just go together so well. I made sure Wayne's mother, Thelma, knew that the Friesen girls were very outstanding ladies. And sometimes Marley would tell me her frustrations about Wayne. She just acted like she did not like him and that a relationship between them would never work. She said that <laughs> that one Oberholzer in the family is enough. And, <laughs> and Wayne said the same about her, that one Friesen in the family is enough. I was kind of sad about all this and time kept going on and they seemed to be enjoying each other just more and more from what I noticed. And then finally he asked her out. Dear Wayne, five months ago I thought this day looked so far away in the future, yet those five months went faster than I could have imagined. Our wedding day, it's finally here. When I think back over the last 13 months, I'm amazed by the way God led us closer and closer together. I never thought I could love someone this deeply and be loved in this deep kind of vulnerability. You've drawn me out and made me more confident in who God created me to be. You've affirmed me and shown me my strength when I doubted. You have loved me unconditionally and sought to care for me in every way you could. I didn't know that letting someone into my heart could be this wonderful. I was so scared to let you in, yet you haven't trampled me. You have gently cared for my heart. And in return, I trust you with all of it. I've always dreamed about my wedding day. The beautiful dress, all the people I love most together in one place, decorations and splendor, yummy food, getting to walk down the aisle towards my husband-to-be, being the center of attention. But I never imagined what it could actually be like to have the relationship with you. Because when I think of tomorrow and next year and the future in a marriage, the details fade and I only see one man, you the one person I love more dearly than anyone else. I look forward to making a lifetime of memories with you by my side and God guiding our pathways eternally. You rock my world. Your friend, lover, and soon-to-be wife, Marlee Friesen. My future wife, it is unbelievable how far we've come. At this time, four years ago, my family was feverishly making plans to move out to Indiana. To me it seemed like that move would be the end of most of my dreams. Little did I know, however, that through this move I would meet the most beautiful, loving and caring person I could ever imagine. A year and a half ago I admired you as a beautiful and attractive girl but feared that you were quite above my level. The acceptance with which you have received me and the forgiveness which you have proffered has overwhelmed me so many times. I have undoubtedly become a more confident, secure, and strong man because of your influence in my life. In just a few hours, you will be my wife, and my desire will be only for you as long as we both shall live. Marlene, I adore you. I know that you will be so beautiful in your wedding dress. I want you to have your dream wedding today, and I will enjoy it with you. When it's all said and done, I will be yours, and you'll be mine, for life. I know that I will be a supremely happy man, 
and hope that you will be able to say the same for years to come. No, forever. Can't wait to see you walking down the aisle towards me. Your soon-to-be husband, Wayne Oberholzer. I, Wayne Oberholzer, in the presence of God and these witnesses, take you, Marlene, to be my wedded wife. I will love and cherish you, provide and care for you, in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity. I will share with you the joys and sorrows of life, exercise patience, kindness, and forbearance towards you, and live with you in peace as becometh a faithful Christian husband and forsaking all others, keep myself only unto you, as long as we both shall live. I, Marlee Friesen, in the presence of God and these witnesses, take you, Wayne, to be my wedded husband. I will love and cherish you, respect and honor you, in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity. I will share with you the joys and sorrows of life, exercise patience, kindness, and forbearance towards you, and live with you in peace as becometh a faithful Christian wife. And forsaking all others, keep myself only unto you, as long as we both shall live. By the authority vested in me in the Church of Jesus Christ, the state of Indiana, I now pronounce you husband and wife. May God be with you, and bless this union abundantly through Jesus Christ our Lord. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Go forth as husband and wife, live in peace, fear God, and keep his commandments. Joy, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Wayne Oberholzer. Yeah.